Bonnie, it's time once again. It's been a while, but it's time once again for our uh, vaguely reoccurring segment called Bunny and Steve's Social Media Shoutouts. Yes. This is a occasionally reoccurring, fairly newish segment where we give a shout out to a social media hero of ours. Again, you can't have that. I've told you that two times during the recording of this podcast. This is the third time. You can't have that. You do not need Bora Bora Blossom scented Scentsy Room Spray. You're 16 <laughs> months old. You don't need Scentsy Room Spray. Besides, the, 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 the top of it is missing. So it doesn't even work. So why do you need this? I'm not giving it to you because you might put your mouth on that. I don't want you to get Scentsy Chemicals in your mouth and suddenly you'll become a Scentsy Cult member. Be selling this stuff at, at garage sales. So this is where we try and put a spotlight here on the podcast on a social media hero of ours, whether they're a fan of the show or not, but hopefully they are, because if they're not, then they are freaking dead to me. Yes. Bunny, why don't it's, you it's, go- a, it's, it's the razor's edge of shout outs. Yeah. You know, yeah. right there, right there. Yeah. We either love you or you're dead to us. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So, Bunny, why don't you go first? Okay, I am going to go with my friend Tim, who has a couple of shows over on OSI International. Um, and that's pretty much where we got to be friends. He's a good guy. He um, is poor, and I can always relate to that. Um, he does the hall of the, the mighty hall of superheroes where he cuts all uh, a whole bunch of old superhero cartoons together to make a new story out of them. Yeah. Which is really kind of cool. And he has something suave theater as well. So that is Tim Caldwell. Nice. My social media shout out this week. What, Eleanor? What? What? I don't know what you want. Do you want down? Here you go. I'm just going to be putting you. Don't get back up on the chair. You just want it down from the chair. Remember things. I, Have memory. I, I think she wants a punch in the face. She is a goldfish. Yeah. She's a freaking goldfish. Um. My social media shout out this week is a, uh, 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 a standard here on the show and a, a big, big fan and an old friend. I'm talking, of course, about Bruce Nobles. Bruce Nobles. Yay. Long time of, friend. Yeah. Fan of the show. Long time friend. Uh, follower of the Church of Bedwood. I chose him because. Uh, a while ago, I was on the Facey books, the Facey pages, and I saw he, he just posted a thing, and it said, I can't breathe. Yes. Now, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. Yeah, I saw but that, too. There, I was trying to think, why is Bruce Noble, how come he can't breathe? Is it chicken dander? Possibly. It, it, or, or something, but then I realized, oh, wait a second, as the zombie pope, he is he has been a staple for about a decade now at the legendary uh, haunted house place, Guthrie Haunts. Yes. I believe is the name of it. So I imagine it has to be difficult spending all of October and maybe a little bit of September in a room filled with uh, haunted house fog and strobe lights. Yes. That's got to be a difficult job, you know? Like, wow, you spend all of October with haunted house fog and strobe lights and people screaming. And the possibility that 40% of your customers might punch you in the face. <laughs> yes. It's got to be rough. I, you I, know? I have heard that that is a very big occupational hazard. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is I need to, I need to set up like a shop that is only open for November and it's like a, it's kind of like a rescue home for <laughs> haunted house employees. Okay. So like the entire room is just like a white padded room, 
you know? All we play is Enya. <laughs> the lights are really super bright. There's, you know, because I also imagine, you know, you're working eight hours in, in a dark house, you know, in like a dark room, in a dark barn, in a dark forest. That's also got to be difficult. So the room is very bright. We only play Enya. Yeah. All of the walls, everything is just white. And uh, all we sell is herbal tea. And it's a calm down place. Uh huh. Chamomile. So like, yeah. Have you spent all of October and part of November in a haunted house? Come to the haunted house uh, come down store. And Friend oxygen of- tanks. Did you mention oxygen yeah. tanks? Okay, good. No, well, I didn't. But that's that's no. also a good. That's also a good oxygen. Because because I because I was concerned, and I let, read a little more on the thread. He and he had said it's probably from inhaling the smoke for a month. See, there you go. I and, didn't even see that, but yeah, yeah, and 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 I, I used to use the smoke for Bob. I mean, granted, that wasn't nearly as long time, but I could see it having an effect on somebody. Yeah, I mean, it's basically an oil. Yeah, that, yeah, that can't be good. Yeah. So and, and and then I was then I was also thinking that like oh yeah man if you spend all of October and possibly some of September in that environment then yeah like. November and December, you know, you're going to be coming down from that. Maybe not December, but definitely November. You're going to have to be coming down. So maybe that's when I started even going further with this uh, thought process. I thought of all of this in the shower right before. Uh, yeah. Right before recording the podcast. Number one, you can kind of tell that these are shower thoughts. And number two, I hope that Bruce Nobles isn't distressed by the fact that I was thinking about him in the shower. <laughs> Pretty sure he's an open enough guy that he's not weirded out by that. But then I was thinking, like, maybe we should get Bruce Nobles like a service animal. Uh huh. For the month of November, you know? It would have so to be a bat. Th- no, but then I was thinking even further he's got a bunch of goats. Mm-hmm. Those are smart creatures. Can't you train one to be a service goat? <laughs> I've never heard of a service goat, but there that must be a thing. Yeah. And that if, if not it if should be. And if not it should be. Yeah. Eleanor, stop beating up your brother. Get off of Maxwell. Eleanor has a habit of just of just following Maxwell around and then cuddling with him and just, "Oh, let me hold you. I love you, my older brother Maxwell. Let me hold you. Let me kiss you. I'm going to kiss you on the cheek. I'm going to kiss you on the cheek again. I'm going to punch you in the eye. I love <laughs> you, Maxwell. Let me hold you. Let me see how hard I can scratch your lip. I love you, Maxwell. Let me hold you. I'm going to kick you in the balls now." <laughs> It's difficult. Eleanor, stop scratching him! Stop! Be nice! Bella for the save. Thank you, Bella. (laughs) But yeah, she is just rough. She is rough on this child. And it's so difficult because Maxwell is there, like, upset and, like, like, near tears, and it's like, Eleanor, be nice. Maxwell, also, she's, like, 15 months old. (laughs) Six. Like, I'm not saying stand up for yourself, but there's got to be something that can be done here. You know? Yeah. You're getting beaten up by a one-year-old. <laughs> so we need we need to have Bruce Nobles training a service goat. Yes. Post-haste. I'm sure he can do it. I have faith in him and his abilities. And also, I think that this will also work because I have definitely seen a lot of fake service dogs. Yeah, I have a hard time buying a Pekingese. Yeah. Yeah. As a I have seen dog. a lot of fake service dogs just walking in to a store. It's obvious that you just like went on Amazon or eBay and bought a service dog outfit so that you could take your stupid ass freaking dog all over the place wherever you wanted to. Becky. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that if there's these many service dogs out there, that Bruce Nobles could get away with a service with a service goat. Well, as long as the service industry is no longer segregated the way it used to be, you know, yeah. I mean, it used to be strictly white German shepherds 
Yeah. And only for blind people. Yes. But now it's open to all dogs and goats. Yeah. So that's a good thing. That's that's progress. Yeah. So that is Bunny and Steve's social media shout outs. And as always, let's end Bunny and Steve's social media shout outs with the literal shouting out part of the shout out. So let's do it together. Okay. On three, two, one. Rose Tim! Tim! And that is Bunny and Steve's social media shout outs. Yes, it is. Cut on that bitch. <laughs>